Hey guys, it's Deb. I'm just playing around today with some dies that I had. Um, I am in a swap and I had to cut out some dies for a for like a give up like a part of the swap. And so I cut out this die, this flower die that I got last year, I believe. Um, and so I went ahead and um, just playing around with it. For this one, I used some gelatos. Uh, around the base here and then on the inside I did a couple of different inks um, kind of messed up like right in through here but I'm going to cover that up with some little beads and stuff so we'll, hopefully that'll help um, and then I took some inks and kind of tested them out on another on the back of one of the other on another flower that I kind of was just playing with so uh, for this middle part here um, I went ahead and it's kind of got like a little waffle type um, background on there. I don't know if y'all can, it's like squares on there. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if you could see it in the light. See, like that. So I have to decorate an envelope with this. And I went ahead, for this one I used um, a couple of powder puff inks. I also used memento ink, which did made that little dark spot right there. I tried to buff it out the best I could, but it's not really, it's not really buffing out like I thought it would so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it um, but I just wanted to share with you what I did to create the um, the the sunflower effect so maybe that'll help you guys if you have gelatos um, to play around with them and stuff and you can get kind of creative with um, coloring in some of your dyes so I'm um, just taken the um let's see i'm getting the vintage i think this is what vintage distress ink yeah this is the distress ink and i'm just going around the middle part first i'm just going to make that a little darker right in there okay and then after i'm doing that okay this is how i did the sunflower i just took i took um the ones I used was out of one packet. I took two of these, and it's out of the Gelato's Pastels, okay? And this one is the um, Caramel Pastel, and then I took the um, Buttercream, okay? And I went with the Caramel first, so we're going to do the Caramel first, and I just laid it right on top of that flower, and I just went around like this okay so just went around it like that at first and just kind of covered it up fairly well there's probably some spots that I missed and then I took the buttercream and then I went on top of that a few times and I just went back and forth and you know until I got like you know about a couple of times or so And then I went back with the buttercream again. And then I used a, um, a yellow, it is called the lemon. And I used that from this gelato set. And it's called the Brights. Okay. I did order these. I think I ordered them maybe last year or a couple of years ago. Um, and I just haven't had time to really play with them. And I started looking at this and I was gonna do ink. And then I thought, you know what? I have gelatos and that'll work <laughs> just as well. So yeah, so for some of you that have gelatos, this is a great way to play with them. So um, then the next thing I did is I took my little, um, my little uh, brush here. Okay, one of these. And I'm going to kind of wet this because I want to kind of clean this off for a second. Okay. And I just went around it. So it just went like this. Now I didn't do it wet. You can use water and wet it if you want to, but I didn't do that. And if you want to, you could get the whole flower or you could leave the ends white or, you know, whatever whatever you want to do. Um, I just kind of just went around. Some flowers would probably be different than others. So 
just like that. And that's how I did that. And then, um, let's see if I want to, I can add, I'm just trying to get more or less this brown part, but I think it looks okay. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and grab our little brush again, and you're just going to come down. I just came down like this, and then went up onto the leaf a little bit. Then next, I grabbed my greens, and the greens are from the Bright Collection. They are, um, colors are Margarita Mix, okay, and the other color is, um, lime. So margarita mix and lime. I don't have a dark green, so just kind of mixed them. And I just went ahead and just went down like this on top of the stem and then up into the leaf area like that. Okay. And then I took the other green and just kind of went on top of it. And like I said, I just kind of played around a little bit. I went back with the green and just kind of the light green, mixed it in there. And then grabbed my little brush and just kind of brushed it. Again, just making little circles, going around and just kind of mixing them in. Today I have a little visitor. I have my granddaughter Remy here. Say hi, Remy. Hi. <laughs> I'm a great drawer. <laughs> She's drawing today. She loves to draw. Her drawings are pretty good. She does pretty good on those drawings. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, look what I made. I made a sunflower. Oh, that's pretty, sweetie. She did pretty good, you guys. Do you want to show everybody? Want yeah, show everybody? right after I put this cap back on. Okay. Let me just do that. There's her sunflower. <laughs> so she's drawn some other things in here. Let's see what else have you drawn. Oh, let's see here. Um, oh, sh did you draw this little girl? Yeah. You drew that? There's her little girl. <laughs> you want to drew that? I want to show them the cutest thing I've drawn so far. Let's see. Okay, so again, I'm just going to go back with um, the caramel on top of the flower. This is the cutest thing I've drawn so far. Oh, that's a little rabbit with a hat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, with the little sky. Oh, I'm sure everybody's loving that. I know. <laughs> I work really hard on my drawings. I know you do. Okay, and then we're going to grab the, um, that was the caramel, and then this one is the, well, which one is this? Buttercream, sorry. I forgot the name. The buttercream. I'm just going to go back over that. And then again, the caramel. And I'm not pressing really hard, you guys. And then we're going to go with um, the lemon. Then I'll blend it in. So again, I just thought I'd pop on real quick to share with you, you know, um, you know how I'm doing my little, some of my little um, die cuts, coloring them in. If you wanted to color them in, you can. Um, I just thought that th this was fun way to kind of use up some of the stuff I haven't been able to use, and um, I thought I'd share that with you guys. So. Yeah, so, and then you can, of course, if you, like, here, I'm not really fond of how it's looking right here, so I can definitely go back in and use some more lemon. So I can go ahead and grab the lemon and just put that right on top of there and make that a little brighter if I wanted to. So there's that, and then um, and then I got my green, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my green. And I like it when I'm in the videos. 
Yeah. yeah. It's pretty fun, huh? Mm-hmm. Everybody gets to know you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be in your video sometimes. Yeah. So when I come in, every time I come in here and you're working with a video, I'm going to ask you, can I please be in your video? <laughs> So yeah, just like you know. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna be seeing me a lot. <laughs> so, and then you just blend this out. And of course, if you wanted to, you could put more green in there. Kind of liking that green in there. And then just kind of blend that out a little bit. Alrighty, so there are a couple of ways, and like I said, you you can, I have like that white border, so I'm just going to leave that like that, and then these other two, I'm going to leave like that, and um, so anyway, just thought I'd share the gelatos thing with you on, on some of your dyes, if you want to color them, if you wanted to color them, you could, using your gelatos, so I hope you guys enjoyed this short video, take care, and I'll talk to you soon, bye! Believe. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be updated on all future upcoming videos and tutorials.